October 20th poor cult sci-fi DVD update all right I got a pretty good amount come through so I'm gonna start off uh, the first one is a movie I didn't want I didn't know existed and my buddy bought me he likes to buy me we buy each other really bad movies for comedy purposes and then we watch them and laugh or get really mad but this one we bought he bought me I guess for Christmas but I like it was in his car and I saw it and I was like what the hell is that is it cost for you just take it now and it looks absolutely hilarious it's like a bird's ripoff it's called Caw now I don't know how good of a picture it is but I don't know why but that raven on there is killing me he looks so angry it is hilarious looking this movie's gonna be straight garbage but maybe it's funny I don't know it looks bad to me but it looks entertainingly bad like in a bad way I don't know but that's Caw. I wonder if Caw is actually even really a real word. I know like people use it, but that's what I was thinking. I was like, if you looked up Caw in the dictionary, what the hell would it say? Um, here's a box set I finally got that I ordered. I really got it for uh, one movie, but I do like two of the movies in here. And it comes with four discs. One's a bonus disc, but this is the Stuart Gordon box set released by Full Moon. I picked this up for the 91 remake of Pit and the Pendulum with Lance Henderson, Tom Tolles, Jeffrey Combs. Uh, I believe Oliver Reed makes an appearance in it. And I remember seeing the movie back uh, a long time ago, like probably 10 years ago. And I remember, this is pretty decent. I really like Tom Tolles too, so I figured I'd pick it up. It also comes with Castle Freak. And Castle Freak's a pretty good movie too that I remember, pretty violent. I remember catching some of that on TV when I was a kid. I did rewatch it though, probably about eight years ago and they're both it's pretty decent i remember cafe films does a review on that i'd suggest you check it out and then it comes with another movie called deathbed which i'm not thrilled about it looks like a crap fest don't care about it and then it comes with a bonus disc about Stuart gordon i uh, Stuart gordon's a good director i would recommend his films from beyond reanimator stuff like that and the fortress which are all good movies and pit the pendulum and castle freak as well and then here's another one i got now I had to order a foreign disc. The VHS of this goes for a super amount of money, like $80. Or not. Louis C. Just, Jordan just showed a, uh, he just picked up the VHS in one of his updates. I could not be so lucky, so I ordered this overseas DVD for 25 bucks. That's with shipping. It's called The Abomination. I've not seen it. It's supposed to be low budget, direct to video 80s classic gore stuff. Uh, Here's the DVD. It says 16 and up, but it also says it's unedited. I really don't have a region free player, DVD player that works anymore. Mine is broken. I'll have to pick one up. But I could always watch it on my computer, I'm pretty sure. But I'm excited to see this one. Hype for it. Have not seen it, heard good things. And then one I picked up for 350 is just a, a record exchange. It's a great film. I've always liked the film. It's one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite movies I never had on DVD, and I was embarrassed. Kind of like Jaws. Jurassic Park. I finally got Jurassic Park. I would have bought the box set, but I really hate Part 3. 3 I don't even want on my shelves. And I have the likes of Caw on my shelves now. So, and another one, I picked up the sequel, The Lost World Jurassic Park 2. I like this one too. Now as good as the first, of course. The first is gold. This one's just okay. This one's actually fun, though. It's a lot of fun. Don't go into the high grass. And then uh, another one, it's released by Stars, not Anchor Bay anymore, it's Stars, but uh, I would never pay much more than 350 for this, and that's how much it was. It's the unrated edition of Cook. I haven't seen it, but I don't know how it is. Looks all right. Looks kind of crappy, but. And uh, I already had this movie on DVD, but I've seen it go for about $20 used and stuff. This case is beat the shit. I already have it on DVD, but this one was a dollar. It's The Wrath. I already had it. I've already showed it. But I'm thinking about giving it away to somebody or as a gift or something because it's out of print and I don't want to see somebody pay a ridiculous price when they can just get it for me for a you know, a friend of mine. I'm not really sure. I know this is like a suspense thriller. I've never seen it. hear a lot about it. It sounds pretty decent. Um, single white female. I've not seen the movie. Doesn't know how it is. It was only 350 and then here's a pretty cool deal. I, I wanted this movie for a long time, but I didn't want to buy the cheap radio edition, and I didn't want to pay $25, $20 for this uh, blood edition. So when I walked in, I saw it for $10 somewhere. I was really happy. It's the Ichi the Killer uh, blood pack here. 
I don't like how the discs come out because it's pretty rough how to pull them out. But I'm glad I picked this up. I haven't seen it. It's pretty cool looking. Pretty cool set. Then another one I picked up for 250. It looks like straight crap. It's released by a crap company. But you know what? I think this is the old one. I don't know how it is. Yeah, it starts Aldo Ray and stuff. It's um just one of those movies that has a really crappy edition released out. Bog for 250. I couldn't see myself paying any more than that, but haven't seen it. It might be fun. And then I picked up one of my favorite movies. One I have like six this six different editions of it on DVD. But I heard this one came with a nice documentary, and I heard this is the edition to get. This is the Dimension edition of Night of the Living Dead, the 1968 cult classic. Favorite director, one of my favorite films. Awesome. And the documentary on here, I watched that. I'd say it's a pretty solid documentary. It's really cool. It shows a lot of the characters, a lot of involvement in the film, a lot of pre-production. It's, it's pretty cool. And then I got one. Screamatorium is having a DVD sale. I'll try it, Check it out. They're on MySpace. They have a website, screamatorium.com. Uh, they sell like bootleg films, but they always do a really good job. They always have nice slip cover art, uh, nice menus and everything. And uh, I picked this one up because I heard so much, and I am a slasher fan. My friend Kenny saw this and told me about it. Uh, this is New Year's Evil. Uh, they're having a sale on there, eight bucks instead of ten. Normally, I'd recommend checking it out. They have some cool stuff there. Uh, I have not got a chance to watch New Year's Evil. And another one I saw a while back the record exchange. I know it goes for about 10 bucks online. It's not, it's out of print, but it's not super rare or anything. It's by uh, Brian De Palma. So I, I get the impression that it's a lot like Carrie because it even has Amy Irving in it. Ooh, John Cassavetes is from the Dirty Dozens in it. Kirk Douglas, it's The Fury. Thought I'd pick it up and check it out. I have the VHS sitting downstairs somewhere. Now I can finally get rid of that. Another one I picked up. It looks pretty good. Um, looks like a like government bacterial type thing, paranoia stuff. It's right at your door. I have not seen it. Check this one out too. Looks like it could be pretty good. And then uh, the last time I had seen this next one was, was when I was like 16 or 17 years old and I saw it on a recorded HBO tape at my friend's house. Uh, but I figured, I didn't like the additions that were floating around to this movie and its sequels, so I figured I'd pick up this 20th anniversary of Faces of Death, released by MPI. And Gorgon and stuff. This looks uh, like a nice edition. I hear it's a pretty good edition. I got it from Amazon for like $19. It's a, it's a bit steep for me, but hell, when you buy a lot of movies cheap, sometimes you can afford to fork over uh, a good price for some other ones you really want. I'm excited to watch it see how they do with it. And then another I just couldn't resist during the Halloween sale on Amazon. It's just a time of year to have fun with this type of film. Hocus Pocus, you know, I know, laugh at me. It's a good family movie, it's a fun movie. I put it in the same realm as Ernest Scared Stupid, but I like Ernest Scared Stupid more, but yeah, I'll probably watch this before the Halloween season's over. And last, it's one I heard a lot about too, and I never had it, and it's kind of embarrassing as a audition. Uh, I hear it's really slow, and then the end's awesome. I hear that from everyone, but uh, check that one out probably too soon, but I have not seen all these, but... That's my update so far, and that's pretty much what I got, and I probably should have one at the end of the month. There'll probably be only about five or six movies. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, might as well do some shout-outs here. Oh, there's some stations, like some YouTube channels, just randomly off the top of my head that some people should check out. Uh, I'll, I'll post some on the side, so look. Cafe Films is a good one. He knows his stuff about horror movies. I'm going to do some Chocolate Torpedo. I've been looking at his videos lately, and he always buys some really cool stuff, some cult films. Uh, Louis C. Jordan has always some good VHS's, some good cult films. He's got a lot of rare stuff. There's some other people. Horse Scout always has some. She has a really cool collection going through there and stuff. Some rare stuff. Who else is there out there? Uh, I'll have to post some more on the side there. But those are some good ones I like to watch. They always have cool collections, cool updates. Always some cool stuff. Uh, I think I want to say Day of the Dead or something like that. Somebody has one like that. But, uh... Yeah, but uh, thanks for watching and uh, tune in for my next video. Thanks. Bye.